Hey, yeah, I'm Armin from Placid, and today we will insert data from advanced custom fields into our dynamic images. Advanced custom fields proves to be a great companion for WordPress, and so does Placid. By only adding a few lines of code, we can connect those two and bring any custom content from your WordPress instance right into your dynamic images. To get this started, I've hooked up a Placid project with a fresh WordPress instance and created a preset template. A Placid template is similar to a design in Canva or Photoshop, but it can be filled with your WordPress data to auto-generate visuals and in combination with advanced custom fields, our possibilities become endless. So have a look at how that works. I've set up this fresh blog instance and in this imaginary scenario, we are running a real estate blog where we have some listings about vacation homes and we want to create Facebook shareable images there with, with all the data that we need. So I've created a template. This template is going to hold the title, which would be the, the title of the listing and a background image, which will be the featured image of our posting. And then we have three features that should be uh, filled inside of it. So in our WordPress site, I've already created an asset which lets you create image, one-off images below every posting. And I've already mapped it, so we can fill the title and the image uh, uh, automatically. But as we can see, feature one, two, and three are still missing. And we can see them here. I've set them up as advanced custom field fields, just, just plain text fields. And now we want to couple those into our image because we, we want to have those, those three features also on our image visible, right? <clears throat> and let's have a look at the, at the asset real quick. I've set it up here. It's a Facebook share image. And here we have feature one, two, three. These are exposed uh, dynamic layers, but we have no place to, to map them because we don't have the fields here. So, we are now going to extend the Placid plugin to show three new options here, which would be feature one, two, and three. And those options should pull the data out of the advanced custom fields field, right? So we start this by heading into the Placid documentation, right? So we have here the Placid plugin API custom layer values. So essentially we have, we have, uh, we, we offer two hooks here, um, one to add text, a text field, like, like text, uh, a text value into your layer and one to add an image, which is pretty simple. You, you just add the function and inside of this closure, you will get like all the data that you need to, to resolve what you need to do. And then you just return the string that should be inside of this layer when the image is being generated. Or if you're going to fill it with an image, just return the URL to the image and Placid will take care of the rest. But let's just copy this now and head back into our WordPress. There we will just use the theme editor, I think. Like, let's go into themes. Ah. Let's go into the theme file editor. There we go into the functions PHP. This will be enough. So I will just post this in here. And now just to check it out, we are going to create a new field, which is called feature one. We give it a title of feature number one. <clears throat> and then we can hit save. We update the file. Let's open up the assets into a new tab, switch over. And now we should already see, yeah, here we go. Now we already have a new layer value. So what else do we need to make it work? Like uh, we need to know which posting uh, we are on so we can pick the, the correct feature. And we will get this in uh, the params array. So params object ID, is going to be our post ID. So let's just say post ID is params object ID. <clears throat> if you are working with, with 
custom post types or you want to do this on a tag or a category, you will also have uh, the object type which will allow you to, to check if, if you have to pull a tag or a category, right? But, but for now we are just needing the, the post ID. So, and since advanced custom fields is super easy to work with, we can just use their get field function, which is called get field. And the field is called, I don't know how, let's have a look at our custom fields. Features. Ah, yes, I, I've just called them feature underscore one, feature underscore two, and underscore three. Let's head back and have a look. We want to have the field feature underscore one from this post ID. And I think it should be enough to just return this now. <coughs> so, update it. Then we head back into our posting. Now we head back into our mapping screen. We will map the feature one here, update it. Now we can head into our posting, click edit. And this is a custom ACF value. We update our posting. So this value has been saved and now we can refresh this and the first feature should be our custom text now that has been inserted here. And it is nice. Now let's add the feature two and three and complete it. Uh, let's head back into the theme file editor, our functions PHP. And now we will just add second one and the third one this will be feature two feature number two we get the field feature two same for feature number three feature number three number three update now let's head into our assets and we can finish the mapping to oh no Ah, theme, back into the theme functions. Ah, of course, this should be feature two, right? So now we can head back into the assets, <coughs> select feature two, select feature three, and now we're ready for a real test of our image, right? Then we head back into our posting. And now we should be able to fill all three features and have them show up in our image. So what do we have here? We have, it is in a quiet location. It has a stylish interior and a pool and a roof deck. Now let's save this, refresh the image. Yeah, awesome. Now we have our features one, two, three coming directly out of advanced custom fields. And you, you will have this now available under, under any post and it, it, all, it will always work with, with just these three feature fields. Awesome. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you have some ideas what I could do next or, or, how, or, or which else plugins we could connect, just let me know. Bye. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.